And Tyrae is on here. I'm not telling her to vouch for me or anything like that, but that's one of their cousins. Like, when we used to go over her house and spend the night, they used to be mean to me with her. Listen, you got to be careful bringing other people into the mix. Tyrae jumped into that comment section and said, do not include her in this. A mess. Okay, pretty much. As y'all can see. So, Soguchi daughter um, went live because she wants people to ask her questions about, you know, things that they may not know about. But for me, I feel like she pretty much confirmed what we already know. She spoke about her mom abandoning them for her man, JJ, and to make his family better. She talked about, you know, her and the girls going back and forth and how they don't get along. We saw that in the first season. So we knew that much. She speaks about how she don't go on family trips because she don't mess with the girls. And from what I'm getting from her live is that her beef is really with the fans and the three daughters. Sanjay, Star, and Sky, I believe their name is. She even speaks highly of Selena, that Selena is a very nice lady. And that her and Selena never had any issues until the fight between her and her mom. So I'm going to let y'all listen to the live. I just want to let y'all know that I chopped it down. I got rid of dead space. I got rid of her answering the same question over and over. But if y'all want to see her live, y'all can go to her page to see it. But other than that, I feel like um, her bringing it to social media. More problems on top of the problems that they already have. And her speaking on behalf of her mother. The issue with that is you don't know what your mother is saying. Look at those um, confessionals where all they doing is talking about Selena and down talking Selena. So you can't say what your mother ain't doing. Don't try to ask me questions like shit that y'all don't really know for real because. I'm gonna be in charge of cap. Like, they're so cap and delusional. My God, delusional. Like, y'all, they are so delusional behind this lady. Because she was on TV first. Like, she... girl, I didn't go to Dubai because it was a choice. I didn't want to um go to Dubai because I didn't want to put myself around them, knowing that I don't fool with them for real. And I feel like they were ruining my trip. But obviously, seeing how much fun they had, I regret it. But I didn't go to Dubai because I don't fuck with them. So I'm not going to put myself in a position where I got to go to Dubai with them. Like, I can... the family is doing horrible. Like, are you talking about my family? Like, me and my daughter, we're good. But as far as the family dynamic with them, JJ and uh, me and JJ are good. Um, me and the girls, we're not speaking. We're not getting along. It's still bad. It's real, real, real bad. Well, to be honest, I don't think that we'll ever get to a point where it's good. I'll be glad whenever everybody just accept the fact, like, um, that we don't like each other. And that's okay. We don't have to like each other. We don't have to love each other. We're not blood family. As long as my mom is happy in her marriage and he's happy in his marriage, we're not kids. So if we were kids and we were still under the same roof, then it would really be a big, big issue. But since we're grown, we have our own lives, we're married, we have kids, none of that matters. I get that it's respect needs to be, you know, a factor, but let's be for real. We don't ever really have to be around each other. Um, what's really the issue with you guys? To be honest, y'all, and I know I'm so small, and I know my mom is so small. To y'all, DD4L fans, the people that know them first. The real issue is jealousy, y'all. Like, I'm just going to be honest. And I know it's so easy for people that's viewing to be like, oh, well, they were on TV first. So I assume that their stepsister is jealous because they had all the fame and the shine and all that. So that's so easy to just automatically say. But y'all, I was in their life long before they were on Bring It. We were little kids. Nine we were little kids, nine, seven, and eight, before they were even on Dancing Dolls. I was on Dancing Dolls as well. Probably a week. I mean, I didn't last, but what I'm saying is, y'all, these girls were mean to me and my mama when we first met their dad for the simple fact of they didn't accept the fact that their parents weren't together, which is so normal. That happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? So they were mean to me, and they were mean to my mom. I don't know if it's because their mom was brainwashing them or whatever the case may be. They probably was mad because they were just mad. But that's the root of the issue. The reason why it's so bad now is because 
we now have an opportunity to be on TV, y'all. This right now is all about attention, fame, and just, I'm mad that you're getting uh, on time on TV. I don't, they can't stand that. That's the real reason, y'all. All this not speaking, disrespect, all that stuff y'all see us arguing about on Twitter, that's not the real issue, y'all. That's just adding on, digging out old stuff. Like, the real issue is they don't like the fact that we on TV and my mama didn't speak to their mama on TV and made her feel small because she feel like, oh, I'm Selena. You don't just walk past me. They've been in the same room on multiple occasions, y'all, all since we were in each other's lives. Mama speaks sometimes, mama don't speak sometimes. It's not a, it's no beef, it's no issue, it's just, I don't fool with you. Like, we're not friends, we don't have to be buddy-buddy, there's no disrespect, but I don't have to speak to you. Not saying, because a lot of people will be like, because they pull shit out their ass when it comes to my mama. Like, they find any little thing that she do and make it wrong because they just delusional and they just love them so much. And that's fine, like, we're outnumbered. That's cool. They're mad because we're on TV now. And even though they're a part of it as well, they would rather it just be them. They don't want to share this with us. That's what the issue is. And y'all can believe it if y'all want to. And if y'all don't, that's fine. Most people are just siding with them because they know them and they knew them first. It don't really matter if they're wrong or not. They just siding with them, period. And that's weird. And my thing is this, like, Y'all know she was wrong. My mama didn't have to speak. My mama did little to nothing. What she said triggered her when she called her extra. Mama was probably wrong for saying that. She didn't have to pop her shit on her like that on TV. She could have just not spoken and just kept it moving. But because mama called her extra, Selena felt embarrassed. I'm, first of all, you didn't speak to me on camera, and I'm Selena Johnson. Second of all, you called me an extra on TV, and I'm not a part of this? I'm pissed. So... If you don't understand that, then you just making yourself not understand. It's so clear. It's so clear. It's not. I didn't have to call her extra. Now, I'm going to take accountability. I'm not just going to be taking up my mama because it's my mama. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to tell my mama when she wrong. Like, mama didn't have to call her extra. I mean, it would be cool to get along, but I don't really give a fuck about them, to be honest with you. And I hate that for JJ. Like, I hate that for him, too. And me and JJ used to not get along. Y'all, I used to can't stand him. But I'm not on Twitter, on social media, bashing him like, like y'all. I got so much to say, but I'm just saving people by not telling my side of the story when it comes to just me and they dad. Like, I could really do him bad just off some I don't like him type shit. That's that. Me and him are good. We're in a better space. There's no need for that. Selena was cool. Selena is a sweet lady. Like, whenever me and the girls were, um little and they used to go to their mama house sometimes i used to go over there and spend the night like i never had an issue with selena she's a nice lady she's sweet i never had an issue with her the only reason why i got an issue with her now is because obviously she fucking hit my mama on the head with a glass bottle so now i got an issue with her but other than that selena is a great person to me she's never mistreated me she never treated me no type of way like i never had no issue with her but now of course i do but yeah me and selena never had an issue those girls are just mad y'all and it's three of them and they got a whole bunch of fans so it's obviously they're gonna be their side is gonna seem more believable like y'all just now getting to know us y'all is it's, we're new so it's really hard for y'all to side with us or even see us through with facts. Yeah, y'all are siding with them and you know they wrong. Their mama was wrong regardless of what my mama said. Her not speaking. You hit her. You didn't punch her. You hit her with a glass bottle on her head. That's giving built up whatever. Like, can't no bitch make me that mad while I'm hitting them inside their head with a bottle. I might punch you in the face, but that is giving I've been mad. They seem pretty cool. Who seem? Oh, me. Yeah, I am pretty cool. See, you don't even know me, but just based off this live, you feel like I'm pretty cool. I am pretty cool. People side with them because they know them. So it's hard to get to know new people. And even, yeah, most people don't even know our side. They just siding with them because they been new them first. We never got along before the show, before Bring It. We always had issues in the house. Always.
talking. Feeling like I'm talking. I, this is, y'all, let me tell you how I feel. I feel like I'm on top of a mountain and the whole world is beneath me and nobody can hear me tell my side because it's just me. And of course, my mama, she tell her little side. She talk whenever she feel like it, but I'm really the one out here defending her, telling her side and telling my side and what's really going on versus them. It's three of them. They got all these fans. We're just outnumbered. That's all. Why did your mom abandon you though? Like, did you ever go to therapy for that? Um, can you address the light skin comments? So y'all, y'all kind of last season, y'all blew up the colorism stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it a book. I lit. Y'all saw two minutes of hours of filming. So they pulled out whatever they wanted to pull out and edited and made it whatever. And y'all made the colorism thing a, a big issue, not me. I was just speaking that when we were kids, I just said something. I didn't think that it was going to get that big for real. I just was like, you know, um, you didn't let me use your soap because you said that I was dirty. I literally, whatever came to my mind and how I felt, that's what I said. I was like, I don't know if it's because I'm darkening y'all. That's why you think I'm dirty. I didn't expect it to go that way. I literally was just pouring out my feelings. When we got on this show, I was real life thinking, okay, this is going to fix stuff. Let's talk about this. So I didn't care about cameras. I just really was flowing with how I felt. I was not trying to call them colorist, colorist or anything like that. I just was like, well, is that the reason? Like, because I'm dark? That's why you didn't want me to use your soap? Like, you know what I'm saying? I just was being a kid telling y'all how I felt. Um, let me ask this question first. Why did your mom abandon you? So I just feel like... My mama pretty much abandoned me and my brother. I'm not going to leave my brother out. Y'all don't really know much about him because he don't be on the episodes. But my mom pretty much abandoned us in a way because she was more so focusing on her marriage or her relationship at the time and trying to mend them. And she pretty much forgot about us. Like, that's simple. And my mom will tell you that. Accountability. You feel what I'm saying? Like... She pretty much pushed us to the side to make sure that her and her husband and his kids was a family. Like, we felt left out. Well, I did. I can't speak for my brother, but I did. And, yes, I did go to therapy for that. Um, yes, I did go to therapy for that. That's usually happen what happens when people have a fan base. People take sides and not really know the truth. It's enough room for all of y'all, though, and share fame. And that's how I always imagined it, y'all, like... Shoot, we on TV. Our issues as a family is real. It's not a storyline. I'm so sick of seeing that. They so mad that we bringing them up. Like, it's giving I'm mad that I'm the reason why y'all getting clout. That's the issue. You're a part of the story. Nobody's just making shit up. Like, it's a reality show. So whatever's real happening and you're a part of it, you're going to be a part of it. That's just that. Like, you're just mad because... They using them being on Bring It as a way of, that's why everybody tuning in. They're, okay, y'all probably are getting a lot of people tuning in because y'all on Bring It. I'm not taking it from y'all. But at the end of the day, these issues that we got, as far as, as a family, you regular over here. Like, you regular with these issues. You just been on Bring It before. Like, they're not the same. But when the girls feel that too, like, it's not genuine. It's just so you can get the man kind. Well, I mean... My mama's gonna have to speak on that. I'm not finna sit up here and take up for her on the whole, you know, y'all just, I don't, I don't know. But I, I will tell you this, y'all, just speaking from experience, knowing my mom. My mom has a great heart. My mama's not a malicious, evil person. She's not that. Whatever my mom did for those girls, she did it because she loved her husband. And to love his, her husband, you gotta love the kids. It just go hand in hand. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it ain't fuck your kids and I just love you and I'm doing this for it. No. And what a lot of people don't know, for real, a lot of people don't know because they try to make it seem like my mama is using him for his money. My mama is the reason why JJ is where he is right now today. My mama works for him. My mama do all his invoices, do everything for him behind the scenes. Like, let's just be real. My mama was there before he had money, ups and downs. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not to put y'all in our business, but mama didn't just show up when he got rich. That's not how I know. No. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And screen record this just in case. 
not manifesting and putting it out there, but I just would hate for this to get so bad that somebody get hurt for real and somebody lose their life because this little small stuff that they making it about, like not speaking and disrespect, y'all, when I tell y'all it's deeper than that, jealousy, there is no cure for jealousy, there's no rekindling that, you heard it from me, so if this don't get, it's one of two things that can happen, we can just all accept it, we don't fuck with each other, life goes on, we won't even mention y'all on the show, period, no more, if that's what y'all don't want, cool, we won't mention them, period, or it could get so bad that violence comes into play. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm ready to fight now. Like, I'm, I'm pissed. And who's to say I won't black out? They say their mama blacked out. Who's to say I won't black out? You on Twitter disrespecting the fuck out my mama, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I hope y'all screen record this. I hope to see this on somebody's interview on Face. I mean, on uh, YouTube. Just so I don't have to keep... Asking, answering these questions because I don't want y'all to feel like you know what I'm saying like it's two sides to a story just because y'all know them y'all knew them y'all don't know us me and JJ are good but we have overcame that and it really took me to overcome it too because when I left that house all of my problems with them left I'm there everybody's dead to me for real i don't disrespect mr j i'm so glad that he's living i'm just glad that he's in good health like you feel what i'm saying this type of i'm just glad that he's here and I, I hate that i'm so sorry to all the disrespect that i have caused when i was there and all of this stuff like we have issues that nobody know about so i'm just glad that he's still living yeah, I'm not, I would never disrespect him on the internet, and not just for my mama, just off the strength of because people got feelings. Like, I would never do him like that. Never. Mr. J done stuff for me that my mama ain't did. Me and him was beefing because I didn't like how he handled me. He used, I feel like he used to mistreat me and the rules, and I don't do good when nobody telling me what to do. I was a little rebellious, and just other stuff, like, that we don't have to speak on. How do you feel about the cheating allegations? I felt that was wrong. Oh, it's about the girl saying they that. Y'all, <laughs> that was foul. That was so foul. Like, I don't even see how he's still fucking with them after that. Like, I wouldn't do my mama like that. I don't care if my mama make me so mad. And if she is doing it, I would never do that to my mama on the internet. Like, that's how I'm telling y'all. Like, y'all can tell that this shit is deeper than what they saying because it's bringing out the worst in them. Like, they they going against their daddy behind it. Why do they bring up Selena so much on the show? So, y'all, now that I don't know because I don't be at every film. And I just come when they tell me to come. So, like, which I don't know with reality, like, it's not scripted, but they do tell us what to talk about. If that clears up with most of y'all questions. They they tell us what to talk about. Period. Do you think they act the way towards you because of their mother? Most, well, see, I can't never, um, <laughs> I don't never really, like, when we first met them, they were mean. So I just thought it was like, oh, they just don't want their daddy with nobody. So it's either that or they was doing it for their mama. I think them bitches just evil by themselves, if you want to be honest with you. They were mean. How did they say you asked their mom to be their mom? I would look for Because when I was little, um, I was just saying something, for real. Like, I was over there and I had so much fun. We could do whatever the fuck we wanted to do over there. I thought it was cool. And it's rules with my mom. So I was like, can you be my mama? It wasn't serious. Wait, so how does your mom let Selena watch if she didn't like her? Well, my mama never had an issue with Selena. It was never no issue. Like, I'd be like, Mom, can I go with the girls and spend out with their mama? Yeah, cool. It's no issue between them two. It's just... I don't know. Like, I speak to you sometimes. Sometimes I won't. But it's no disrespect. Like, it ain't fuck you. Da, da, da. But at that moment, my mama had an attitude. Selena don't know that my mom already knew when she walked in that we knew about her saying that she had with Latrice talking stuff before that. So it's like, you trying to have a moment right now and I don't fool with it. What is your mom take on the bad mouth? My mama is just like, kind of like, 
It's just showing their true colors. Like, this is how they've been feeling. Everybody don't want to believe that Selena started it. Well, you can say my mama started it because she didn't speak, but that's just doing stuff to just because you like Selena. Like, Selena was picking. If my mama, if a she don't speak to me, you think I'm going to tap her shoulder on camera at that and look thirsty and make her speak? I'm not doing that. That's weird. If Selena really wanted to keep stuff pee, she could have just kept on like, okay, cool, bet. I still get camera time with Latrice because it was given that you wanted a moment. And my mama wasn't finna give it to you. Because she knew you was talking noise before that. Like, you was just with Latrice before this. And suppose we didn't know about this, y'all, which we really didn't. We heard later. But suppose we didn't know and my mama was to speak to her. Oh, hey, Selena. I don't know if y'all remember, but y'all need to go do your homework. Oh, hey, Selena, how are you? Then we sit down watching the show and we see that she was just with Latrice shopping, talking about my mama. Now my mama look like a fool. How my uh, stepdaddy feel. I don't know how he feel. I don't know. I'm not going to speak on him. I don't know how he feel. But I know he's, his feelings is hurt real bad behind all of this. Because he didn't think that his girls was like that. He always felt like it was me. They get along. There's no issue. I ain't even gonna say they get along. They just know each other exist. They speak sometimes and sometimes they don't. Selena didn't like the fact that my mama didn't speak to her on camera. That pissed her off because I'm Selena from Bring It. What? You're not gonna speak to me? That That's what it is. Y'all, and then y'all have the nerve to be mad at my mama press charges. I've never seen such delusion in my life. Never in my life have I seen. I thought that delusion and all that crazy, retarded, manipulative stuff was just in relationships. But y'all do this on a daily basis. Like, how can you not press charges? What, what did you expect my mama to do? Because if she would, no matter what my mama would have did after that, the fans of them would have been mad anyway. Y'all find the littlest thing to attack my mama on the smallest stuff. So, press charges, that they lucky that that's all she did. Because if it had been me, one would have hit Selena, fan favorite. People would have been saying Selena needs to press. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, all the people that's against my mom, for real, y'all don't have nothing to back up why. It's just simply y'all pulling stuff out y'all butt because y'all like them better. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no that was mad. Because they was like, um, my mama shouldn't have disrespected their mama. They shouldn't have did all this disrespect for years. Like, oh my God, who's calculating when they don't speak and labeling it as so much disrespect for years? My mama ain't never disrespected their mama like for real. She speaks sometimes, she don't. That's the only interaction that they've had. So the dis disrespect that Sunday talking about for years, I don't even know what she's talking about. But after they found out that my mama pressed charges, it emptied up and there was real peace.